Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Houghton's Computer Repair, here with a video for you. I have made some videos in the past to show you how to disable the OneDrive in Windows 10, and technically also how to disable OneDrive underneath services before too. But if you're not a big fan that wants to just disable the OneDrive and you actually want to uninstall, then say no more. I'm going to be showing you how to uninstall OneDrive in Windows 10 using Command Prompt. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty simple. Instead of going to the start and selecting, just get to the search bar. Let's go ahead and type in CMD. And you should see command prompt. Be sure you right click on command prompt and you see it says run as a minister. You will need this for this to work. You'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. Now also don't get confused by command prompt and using PowerShell. If you pretty much right click on there, you'll see probably PowerShell. Do not use that. That will not be able for this policy to work. It has to run on the script through command prompt for this policy to do its work. Regards, here's command prompt and you do see the administrator that is in active right now for this to be administrative. And we're going to go ahead and use a task command to disable, not to disable, to turn off the OneDrive. So right now on the OneDrive, we see it right now on its right corner and we see it coming up. And I can probably just right click and technically it's not letting me. I can, can close OneDrive manually through there. But I really don't care. I'm actually just going to kill it using the command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and type in task kill and forward slash f space forward slash i m space OneDrive dot exe. And I'm press enter and says success. The process of OneDrive dot exe with PID. 9772 has been terminated. So now if I move the mouse to OneDrive, it just closed itself out. And I can show you, I'm going to look up, it's pretty much disabled. Not disabled, um, turned off. So right now it's not running in background. So what we're going to do next is go ahead and type in a specific script to uninstall it. So we're going to type in dollar sign, system, root, I don't know I'm saying dollar sign, percentage sign, actually. And we're going to go ahead and type in a backslash, and we're going to type in sys, sys, wow, 64, backslash, one drive setup dot exe, space, backslash, uninstall. Now I'm going to go ahead and just copy this ahead of time. So it's copied. And what we're going to do is pretty much if you have a 64-bit, I typed in system wow 64. Now technically, if you have a 32-bit system, then you will just type in system 32 and that would be the script command for you. Mine's a sys wow 64 bit. And to find out which version your computer is, um, pretty much just open up File Explorer. Actually, technically, I'm going to show you even easier. If you go to your search bar and just type in about and you see about your PC, go ahead and select it. And what you'll see is underneath the system type, mine says I have a 64-bit operating system with X64 base processor. Yours possibly if you had a 32-bit, it'll say 32-bit operating system with X86 processor. So that's the difference of what you're going to use. Regardless, most likely you probably have a 64-bit. And we're going to go ahead and type in this command and press enter. Now give it a few seconds right now. If we do see OneDrive, let's see if it's up there. OneDrive is currently there. I'm going to refresh this a little bit more seconds after it finishes doing its work. And we're going to see if OneDrive is still there. So here I am. I'm going to search. I'm going to type in OneDrive. And it says there's a folder from OneDrive. But actually OneDrive has been uninstalled. So now it has literally been uninstalled for your computer. You can restart your computer and you will not see the system. And that is pretty much it. That's all you have to do if you just want to uninstall it. Now technically if you want to reinstall this, it's pretty simple. We're just going to reverse this step pretty much. Again, you would go to start on the search bar. Go ahead and type in CMD. Right click on it. Be sure you run as administrator. Again, it has to be command prompt running as administrator for this policy to work. You'll probably be prompted to go ahead and press yes. And here we are again. We're going to go ahead and type in the same commands as system root and pretty much the per percentage sign again. We're going to type in backslash sys wow 64. This is for a 64 bit. If you have a 32 bit, we're going to type in system 32 bit. Pretty much depending on what you have. Um, it won't really hurt if you try it out and it doesn't work, just try the other one. Um, mine's a 64 bit, so I'm going to type in this command. And I'm going to type in one drive setup.exe. And I'm going to do is go ahead and press enter. 
and give it a little second. It shows that OneDrive is technically being installed, it's preparing. And now if I go to the right down corner, we do see that OneDrive is back on there. Now technically you would have to sign back into your account for what you have, but that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.